Okay, we are continuing in this video about making broth from really creepy parts. A little while ago I posted a video at the beginning of where I had this tray with the chicken feet all laid out on it. They're disgusting, they're creepy, I know, but so loaded with collagen that they make really good broth. Um, I roasted them in the oven at 275 for two hours. They have nice color. You can see that some fats have come out. The reason for roasting is because um, they, they were really soggy. These chicken feet were really soggy before and roasting them is going to help them keep their form while they're sitting in the crock pot for 12 to 24 hours probably 24. So here's my crock pot. Two days ago, this is all part of my process. You'll find your own process and really uh, it's different for me every time. This is just what I did this time. Um, two days ago I crocked a whole roasting chicken for 12 hours and then I pulled everything out, uh, separated all the meat, shredded it, it's all mixed together, dark meat, light meat, etc. Whatever organs were in there. Organs are difficult for me. Um, I just haven't got the taste for them, but if I kind of bury them in with the rest, it seems okay. So that came out and then went in the fridge. And um, then I put the carcass, air, all the mush, all the muck, um, I put it all back in the crock pot and just with enough water to cover it. So I now have a really, you can see that it's not very deep. This is a highly concentrated broth, very dense in gelatin, and it's about to get more dense in gelatin because of the chicken feet and bones going in. So here's the muck that came out. And um, so first the chicken was cooked for 12 hours before removing, then the bones went in for another 12 hours on top of that and you can see that they just crumble. So they now are okay to feed to your pets. Look, just turns to mush. So I have gotten the nutrients out of it. You know, I haven't taken to eating bones myself. My grandfather used to gnaw, he used to eat the, the knuckle ends, the joint ends of chicken bones. Uh, it's just not something that I have taken to, but I can handle consuming the broth from the bones. So for me, I've gotten in the broth the nutrients out of here that I wanted, and this can now be given to my dogs to their great delight. This is a big old hunk of skin. I will remove some of the things like skin and excess chunks of fat that aren't good to give to the dogs and the rest of it just can be kind of mushed up and fed to them and they will be really happy with it. Okay so that's where I'm at. The next step now these are hot because they just came out of the oven. Yeah. All right, but you get the idea. So these are going to go in. I'm going to cover them just barely with enough water because I want to have a concentrated broth. And they will go for most likely 24 hours. I will check the chicken feet as I go along after about, or excuse me, they might go up to 48 hours. Because, like I said, um, with the bones when they've been in for 24 hours they just crumble and then it's safe to give them to your pets and my <coughs> pet bull loves, loves, loves actually my daughter-in-law's little 
corgi pug also likes to eat these and I want to make sure that they are safe for them to eat by making sure that the bones are all soft and um, so that'll be at least 24 hours I'll check them if we're at 24 36 and I might go up to 48 hours in the crock pot they do start falling apart by then and the toenails that's just disgusting creepy right this is the ultimate creepy thing right here um, the toenails fall out I don't they don't soften so I don't feed those to the dogs but I want to make sure that the bones inside here are just crumbly and then I dehydrate them as dog treats they still have lots of collagen and nutrients left after uh, in them after they've been crocked but then, like I said, I end up with a broth that's very, very high in gelatin content. So that's where I'm at with this. And it'll be a couple more days before this is ready for me. Um, I don't think there's anything left to do until there, there will be something else I do with the shredded chicken and the broth. But I will make a video about that when the time comes. Thanks for watching.